Yesterday, I heard something um, and I was stunned. And today, I am equally stunned and a little bit upset. Well, not a little bit, a lot of bit upset, furious. I, don't, I would even use that word. And I know this is going on nationwide, so it is not just for your, for this board, but our community needs to understand that the agenda that is being pushed through our schools is somewhat nefarious when it comes to some of the um, activities. Lately, we've seen parents losing it at school board meetings across the country over things like mass mandates and subjects not even being taught in their schools. But this parent's rant before a Michigan school board, it takes nonsense to new heights. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. A parent named Lisa Hansen raised a wild issue before the Midland Public School Board of Education, which is about two hours outside of Detroit. Now, it was difficult for her to address the issue, but after about a one-minute dramatic lead-up, Hansen finally got to the point. So let's talk about fury, furries. <laughs> It was addressed by a child uh, a couple months ago that they are put in an environment where there are kids that, are, that identify as a furry, a cat or a dog, whatever. And so yesterday I heard that at least one of our schools in our town has a, in one of the unisex bathrooms a litter box for the kids that identify as cats. And um, I am really disturbed by that. Hold up, before I let her finish, I don't think furries mean what she thinks they mean. Furries are folks who, shall we say, have an affinity for animal characters, and sometimes they dress in costume. You know, it's kind of like an everyday team mascot, for example, but you're just not being paid for it. You just like it. And yeah, it can be a fetish, but that's kind of rare. And this is completely unrelated and nowhere on the same wavelength as sexual identity, like identifying as a man or woman or non-binary. But back to Hanson's concern about cat furries essentially using the litter box in public school bathrooms. You know, I'm all for creativity and imagination, but when someone lives in a fantasy world and expects other people to go along with it, I have a problem with that. Glad to know she's open-minded. And apparently, although Hansen said that she will continue to do her research on the matter, she seems to indicate that she is pretty informed as to the reach of this alarming issue. I know it's going on nationwide. I know it is. It's part of the agenda that's being pushed. I don't, I don't even want to understand it. But I think that people need to be aware of it because I am really upset as a parent that my child is put in an environment like that. Anyway. In her closing remarks, Hansen seems convinced that this furry thing is likely part of a larger push for DEI, that is diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, I know that there's probably a lot of DEI that is very important, and, and I'm not here to criticize that at all, but this whole furry thing has just got me, uh, I'm staying calm, but I'm not happy about it, and it's happened on your watch, and I don't understand it. This is wild, but let's big picture it. This adult parent comes to a school board meeting and uses her time to accuse the school district of having litter boxes in the bathrooms for children who allegedly identify as cat furries. She suggests this is going on nationwide as a product of diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts. This sounds really off base. So where did this woman get her intel from again? It was addressed by a child uh, a couple months ago. Yeah, assuming Hansen's telling the truth, that woman got played big time. There's a child out there laughing hysterically. And apparently Hansen's accusations went the distance around the school district, getting all of the parents upset to the point where the district superintendent had to issue this statement last weekend, which read in part, it is unconscionable that this afternoon I am sending this communication. At the December 20 Board of Education meeting, a community member addressed the Board of Education. During her comments, she stated that litter boxes were provided within MPS student restrooms for those who identify themselves as furries. Let me be clear in this communication. There is no truth whatsoever to this false statement accusation. There have never been litter boxes within MPS schools. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember, hit that like and follow button and definitely post your comments. I want to hear from you. Ciao.